Hi, Biology. Um, this is a review video for our DNA RNA protein synthesis gizmo. And um, let me hide that there. Um, talking to you here because um, I would like to comment for everybody to check their work on this gizmo. Everybody. And um, I can't reveal the full answers because this isn't my intellectual property. Um, but I got a couple things I want all of us to remember um, after reading all your responses. A couple things I want to clear up. So, uh, first thing I want to say is it's important to check our work just from the learning standpoint. Um, checking our work lets, it, it's in a sense, it's a, it's a specific time in which we're talking to ourselves. And it's a way to remember what we did yesterday or the day before or the week before or whatever. But really take the learning that we did and keep it. If you don't check your work, you're going to forget it. So I want you to keep what you've already done. Okay. Sometimes you'll find mistakes. Other times you'll just relive discoveries. Most all the time, reviewing your work for, for clarity and then improving it is is the best learning experience. Because you already put in that little bit to, to make something, and now you get to refine it. So. One big misconception I found in your writing was talking about the DNA. Um, in the in the program, we all saw how the DNA molecule split up and an mRNA uh, copy was made. Um, but in reading your writing, uh, a large number of you thought that the DNA is destroyed somehow during this process. And I'm here to tell you that the DNA is, is not destroyed during this process. Um, it's, and, and the, the gizmo kind of made it look like it would, but in, in no sense is the DNA destroyed. Um, DNA is a super important molecule that all living things need to keep safe. And so instead, um, imagine DNA to be like my, my teacher's binder with all the answer keys and all the worksheets in it. And I need to go to the copy machine, and I can take a page out, and I can make copies, but I'm going to put that page back in my binder that I want to keep safe. So I can use it year after year after year. There's a whole um, set of, of protein teams that keep the DNA intact. So let's imagine DNA as two tracks, right? And as the mRNA is copied, bits of the DNA are split open. And after the DNA message has been copied, they close back up. And so imagine like a bubble. Imagine a bubble running down the track. And when that bubble... Um, Inside that bubble is where mRNA is made, and then mRNA comes out the side of the bubble. And after um, the DNA is, is done being copied, it zips up behind it, zips together. Now, the state's new focus of biology doesn't think you need to know all that. That's why I had to push it. But just let me tell you, there is a huge protein team to make sure that the DNA stays safe, stays full during transcription. Okay, I want to all. I want you all to go down to number five. Apply. This is one of my uh, first real checks. Check this question for everybody. And I wanted you to tell me if that's our DNA template. What is the mRNA going to be? I'm going to read it for you from left to right. A U G C C U A U U G A U G G C CCA, UAA, GUU. And here's where I want you to stop and say, well, if I miss one letter, okay, I probably got the idea. If I miss five, six, seven more letters, check your work. Go back to the beginning. How does base pairs work up? Because without that fundamental knowledge of how base pairing works, the rest of this assignment will not make any sense. Okay. Um, and it wouldn't hurt to reread this really difficult, complex material. Um, this is how cells work. Like, it's, it's tough. It takes reading two, three, four times. Here's another piece I want to give you. Um, in using the program, you were supposed to come up with mRNA bases for the following amino acids. If you gave me amino acids instead, like methionine or leucine or start or stop or whatever, again, you're missing the main point because the question is asking for which mRNA bases, right? So I need the letters. 
So it's just maybe you got the right amino acid, but with a little basis. Another instance in which we paste to check our work to make sure that we're doing things correctly. So here are our answers. Codon 1, AUG. Codon 2, CUG. Codon 3, ACC. Codon 4, AUG. Okay. Summarize questions. All right. Generally speaking, class, I'm always going to push you to write with clarity, write with details. That means using vocabulary. That means more than six words because you're a summary. A summary should be six sentences, maybe four to six sentences. But uh, it wouldn't hurt you in any sense of the word. It wouldn't hurt you. It would only help you to practice writing with vocabulary. And, you know, if you miss things here or there, if your reasoning is not completely perfect, I get it. I understand that you're still learning. You're still practicing. What's important, though, is producing a body of work, a body of writing that we can check, that we can review and reply. And so if you've got a six-word answer for the summary of transcription, that in itself tells me you don't understand enough of transcription. So I want you to add details. That's why we have a vocabulary sheets to help us put these pieces together. Um, and maybe you want to reread what these processes are, what each of them do. Okay. If you grab, if you grab your um, definitions of transcription and translation straight from a Google search and just copy paste them, I'm going to tell you it's going to bite you in the butt when it comes time for a test. I want you to know it up here. Put it in your own words. Okay. Last thing I want to say is that the last question. Does this statement support the theory of evolution? Well, you bet your took us it does. Think about it. If all the life on Earth uses DNA, that's, that's fantastic evidence of the unity of life, how we all came from a, 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 a common ancestor, all of life, whether you're bacteria or a tree or a human, right? So anyway, I hope this was helpful, guys, and I do want to say that you know, distance learning is tough. The toughest part about it is that you are in the driver's seat. So it's up to you to make sure that you're doing the reading, that you're working on your writing, all the stuff. All right. Well, I hope this is helpful. See you in class.